You know, the only problem with getting your truck like nice and clean is you don't want to take it out. Like, I don't want to get it dirty. Look how shiny these tires are. See what I'm saying? Like, everywhere I look, gotta shine. Ah, so what I did is I installed these brackets, right? You see these brackets here? I needed like some extra table space because I wanna work on two different vehicles. So I built this little bracket thing and you're thinking, oh man, that would totally get in the way, right? Well, it got this little lever here and they fold down. So that way they're not in your way. Ta-da. And then when you need the extra space, you just bam. Like that. Oh God, this thing's heavy. And then you just set your truck on it and you're done. And now you've increased your table space. Also, let me show you another way to increase table space, a strap. It is tied to a beam. Ta-da. Now, earlier today, I'm trying to work on these, on these arms, right? See how, notice how that one says right, and this one says left. That's because I put them on backwards twice. And I was like, man, I'm tired of like holding the truck or the, the body or the chassis while working on it. And then you can, you can set it down, but then you kind of mess up the antenna. So what I want is to be able to hang it like this. Never mind the mess in the back. We are totally fixing it. I just got done doing my yard. And you know, you come out of the blazing, you come out of the surface of the sun into the garage that's still 88 degrees. Oh God, is it really 88 degrees? Yes, it is really 88 degrees outside. I have to have like three different fans on the computer running. See, I got the big fan blowing air, and then you got the normal fans, and then you got a regular fan blowing right on the CPU cooler. Man, it's warm. Woo, I can feel the heat coming out of it. We got the camera set up so that way we can do some live streaming. And then I got the monitor out here. But anyway, what was I talking about? You know, space is everything, guys. And I needed a space to put my tires. So I just kind of added a shelf on the back wall of this. Ta-da, simple, right? I want to take the truck out for a spin, uh, but unfortunately, we're waiting on a motor. Yep waiting on a motor this one right here I think is starting to go out so I went ahead and bought a new one that's gonna be exciting and fun looks like I need to do some adjusting that tires not very straight but anyway it's a nice beautiful day outside should we go ripping I think we should
news is, is that we're done running for today I've been saying that the motor was going to go out and the motor went out on us we also managed to strip the the servo horn that the servo arm we stripped all of the teeth this is steel and the grooves inside of the arm is aluminum we just stripped every single piece of it out so I lost steering and I lost the motor at the same time but the good news is the replacement motor showed up today in the mail. See, about a week ago, I foresee this problem coming. So I went ahead and ordered a new motor and it's in. So now I just need to swap the two out, put in a steel servo arm and we'll be back in business. Still is fairly clean. It's not too shabbily dirty. But anyway, I appreciate you guys helping me get to 2000 subscribers. Thank you to everybody. Check out some of our videos. Check out the links below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.